depending on the race, I mean, you can get some really beautiful shots just pulling in really close, getting those jockeys, getting the details in the horses. Um, on the other hand, you can get some amazing shots with just full out every, all the action, dirt flying, everything. It's, it's great. A lot of people ask me about my horse racing photography and a lot of the questions that come up are well, how do you know what to shoot? I think the great thing about horse racing photography or sports photography in any respect is that every photographer has their different ways of portraying the sport, their own unique styles, everything like that. Um, there's no right or wrong way of shooting a horse racing. A thing that I think about a lot with horse racing photography is how I'm going to shoot it. There's always kind of like two ways I go about it. The first way would be getting all the action in all the frame. The second way would be just getting really up close in tight photos of just maybe the jockey or the horse's head. kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. When you do a full in shot of just the jockey, just the horse's head, you know, you're gonna get a beautiful shot. But then you're always gonna be like, well, did I miss some of the action with the full body, everything else happening all around? It's just one of those things. If you're gonna start out horse racing photography, and you come up to me and you ask me, what settings do I use? It's a wide range. It depends on the situation, on the day, where we're at. But if I'm gonna give advice to you, it's gonna be aperture is your best friend. Um, open it wide up. Let as much light in your camera as possible. Get those action shots. You won't be disappointed. And also experiment, see what works for you.